Okay, so now I'm on my Windows computer, and as you can see, uh, you can, we, we get even we get, even get different fonts. So on the documentation, if you go to Windows and we go to Android, we're going to see install the dependencies, and we need to install Node, Python, and JDK. So I don't use Windows for this kind of applications. Uh, this is going to be my first time. So, okay, we're going to pretty much do it together. So if I go here, it says we recommend installing Node and Python via Chocolaty or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go here and see what we get. So the package manager from Windows. All right, so I assume that we need to install Chocolaty now. And, uh, okay, so we need to do it uh, through the CMD. All right, so what we need to do is to, of course, open CMD, right? So I'm going to go here and type CMD. You should do the same. And I'm pretty sure we need to run it as an administrator. So if you run, if you make a right click, run as administrator, we're going to get the command. And of course, we're going to say yes to that. And here's the command. All right, man. So let me make this smaller so I can switch be uh, between the command and this window. So I'm going to go here. All right. So it says, all right, so we need to copy this and install it. I believe this one, it's a copy command. So you can click on this and it's going to copy this. And I believe we need to go right here and install it. So if I do control V, I'm going to press enter and we should be able to install, uh, install everything. Okay. So it seems uh, to be uh, ready. So it says, if you don't see any errors, you're going to see chocolatey and type choco or type choco minus and this. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm going to say choco and press enter. And okay, so we are getting chocolatey the version. So very good. If you're getting this, it means that uh, everything got installed correctly, All right? Now, if you're not getting this, uh, I'm pretty sure you will need to restart the computer because what we are doing with this, we are installing uh, commands or things on the terminal, right? So for, for this, it will the program will need to go and add some things to the environment variables. So if it's not doing it, it's because maybe there was a problem with the administrators and administrator and everything else. So you will need to restart it and load it again. And of course, if you're getting problems right here, I believe on the getting started, you're going to get or, or right here, the troubleshooting, uh, you're going to get some, you know, additional information, but you know, right from the start, it seems like everything worked. All right. So I'm going to go back to the getting started and see what we get. Let me make this bigger. Uh, I don't like it's very small. So after we install this, it says Choco install minus y then node.js python and the jdk h uh eight eight i believe i've already have node but i'm not sure which node i get maybe it's a little bit old so oh sorry for that it's minus b so i'm going to say node minus b and i got the 1015 actually it's uh, this one is pretty good it's uh, i believe it's the, the latest for most users but that's okay i'm gonna i'm gonna install it anyways uh oh sorry i'm gonna copy I'm going to copy this. I believe we cannot do this on the terminal. And that this is one of the reasons, you know, oh, okay, we can now. So it's choco install minus y, node.js, install Python, right? Let's see what happens. I'm going to uh, pretty much do everything that you would do at home. So I'm going to press enter. And let's say, oh, okay. A pending system reboot has been detected. However, this has been ignored. So the thing is that we installed chocolatey and I believe it says right here at the top that we needed to uh, kind of a uh, reload the computer to restart the computer but that's okay we're gonna install everything and then we're gonna restart the computer and let's see what happens of course i'm gonna run the uh the android studio and the application and the simulator right here so everything should be working all right so we need to wait until this is done and i'll be right back all right so everything got installed seems like we got no errors so we should be able to move forward to the next step so the next one is going to be installing the React Native CLI. So since we've already got NPM, and we're going to check it out, of course. If I do NPM and press Enter, we should be getting something. And that's okay. This is the commands we can run with NPM. So again, if you don't get it, you will need to restart, restart the computer. So I'm going, to, I'm going to copy the command, and I'm going to paste it. Sorry for that. I'm going to paste it and run it again. Okay, this is going to take a little while because this computer has no SSD. It has just a normal hard drive and that of course oh okay it was pretty pretty fast all right man so now of course uh what we can do we can uh, create a project a react native project and you know make it work now of course we will need to uh, do a few other things right here with the android you know side of things we need to download the android studio and everything else now 
uh, Android Studio, of course, we can use it on Mac and we can use it on Windows. Now, the installation and setting up and everything, it's just the same for Windows and for Mac. So I'm going to restart this, this computer. Uh, I'm going to go to the next section and I'm going to do this on the Mac, on my Mac. And then the only, only different thing right here, it's this at the bottom. Of course, I'm going to record a different video after the next one so I can help you how to, in, to set the environment variables. Maybe you know, we already know, so you can check the docs and you can do it yourself. It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to record a video. Now, what I'm going to do is that after the next section, uh, I'm going to show you how to install everything else, you know, all of this. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install the Android Studio on Windows. Of course, I'm not going to film it. But I'm going to install everything and leave everything running just like I'm going to do on the Mac on the next version. All right. So I can, you know, run, uh, run the project and make sure that everything works in Windows. Because sometimes, even though the installations uh, are the same for Windows and Mac, sometimes we get some additional problems. So I'm going to just do it again. I'm going to do all of this. And if I get a problem, I'm just going to let you know what are the problems I'm getting and what I'm doing to fix the problems. But on the next one, we're going to install the Android Studio and I'm going to do it on my Mac. And it's for both operating systems, Windows and Mac. All right. Okay. So I'm going to restart this computer and let's go to the next one.